rewire. So let's work with rewire. We're going to rewire Pro Tools to Reason. And keep in mind that when you run rewire that you want to open up Pro Tools first and then open up Reason. So Pro Tools would be the master application. Reason would be the slave application. So in this case, I've got Pro Tools open. And I'm going to go down, open up Reason. Applications that can be rewired, you can see on Propeller Head's list. They've got a large list of options. So I'm going to open up Reason 4 here. And if you're using Ableton Live, that's one that's commonly used. That can actually be a master or a slave. So you need to set it up for what you're trying to do with it. So I've got a default template that's opened up for this. I'm going to start from scratch and close what I had there. And with my new session, I'm going to go ahead and throw in the subtractor and then also have our Thor. So I'm going to go back into Pro Tools, create my tracks. So I'm going to in this case create an uh, instrument track and I'm going to do a stereo instrument track. So I've got a stereo instrument track and I'm going to show my instrument view here so let me select that and this is my incoming MIDI notes this is my audio that's being routed to be able to go out to my output so I don't need to worry about an input in this instance I want to show my inserts so I'm going to select my inserts here and then on my insert I'm going to choose that I want to do rewire so I'm going to come down to my multi-channel RTAS, go to instrument and then I'm going to choose from our list to do rewire so through reason. Make sure that you've got the plugin installed. This also can cause problems if you haven't installed the latest rewire plugin. You've got an older version. So check Propeller Head's website for that. So I'm rewiring to reason and I'm set up right now to receive, since this is stereo, from the mix left and right, which is one and two in reason. So here's all my different options that I can choose from in reason. So if I go back to reason and I tab to the back up at the top, expand this in the hardware device you can see that I'm plugged into one and two and that's what's going to be coming back into Pro Tools through this insert so that's how you route into Pro Tools so I've got an instrument track which means I can pencil in MIDI I can draw in MIDI I can play in MIDI if I want to so all of this MIDI, these MIDI notes that I'm penciling in is going out and it's triggering something in Reason once I've set up my output for my MIDI. So on the instrument right here, I'm going to go to the output and I'm going to choose what I want to assign that to. So you can see all the different options that I've got here and this is what I want to trigger. So inside Reason, I've loaded in the subtractor. I want to trigger the subtractor. So now it has a place to go. So if I select this, I'm just going to put this into loop playback right now and we'll see all the MIDI notes that are triggering here. Let me turn my volume down and then we'll play and I'm going to tab over to Reason. So I can stop from Pro Tools or Reason and basically have dual control in that sense. So if we're talking about Master Slave in that aspect, they're both really the masters. One can control the other. I can start or stop inside Reason. I can make selections where I want to play back from in either application. So if I decide to start clear out here, then Pro Tools will also start clear out there. So they update to each other. I'm going to move this back to the beginning. And it updated here. So in Reason, uh, you can see all the di different information that's coming in. You can see Node on, so it's actually making it as far as uh, the MIDI goes into the subtractor. If you're troubleshooting this and trying to figure out what's going on, I could take out this plugin right now, and you can see that I've got subtractor going here. Let me play again. I'm going to come back into here. Note on is happening. I've got audio and nothing's coming back. So hopefully this at least assists you in troubleshooting. You can see that it's making it that far and I've got my routing going on up here. Let's say I accidentally had plugged into something else like three and four. These are all things that can cause problems for you if you're not aware. So I'm going to again go to my instrument and then go to reason and it's on mix left and right. As I'm playing, nothing's coming back because it's trying to receive the first two channels. If I plug that, plug that into three and four. So that's that's setting up my instrument to be able to trigger a reason through rewire. I didn't need to choose an instrument track. I could have just as easily chosen a MIDI track as far as just getting information there. And then to get it back, I can choose an auxiliary. So 
uh, to break this apart. That's all an instrument track is. As a reminder, is an, a MIDI track and an auxiliary combined. So if I go to my MIDI outputs, I'm going to go to Thor in this case. Let me go ahead and pencil in some notes here. And the reason that's making it back is because of my insert right here. So again, if I take that off, as I start penciling these, I'm not going to hear anything. So I'm going to come down to my auxiliary track, choose instrument, and then choose reason. And then I need to again change this to 3 and 4 since that's what it's connected to. Make sure my volume's down. And everything's being triggered once again. So that's how my setup works, uh, rewiring through Reason. So we'll talk in the next movie about actually recording this and printing this so we can have this in case we go to another studio or setup that doesn't have Reason and all my instruments that I've loaded in or all my samples that I've loaded in with whatever my rewire application is.